good chilly morning hello welcome to the channel my name is monica i am a third year special education teacher it is wednesday february 5th and i am headed to school um i'm in the valentine's day mood right now like look at these pants it's hard to believe that valentine's day is next week it's just crazy to me and then we are kind of faking the 100th day on Tuesday. The Monday after our Valentine's Day is President's Day, so we don't have school, we have um, teacher work day because I think we are doing best in our SLO PPGs for our professional development plans and stuff like that. But Tuesday is when we're gonna do the 100th day of school, which is good because having the 100th day of school and Valentine's Day on the same day would not work. I'm gonna run to McDonald's really quick too before school. I haven't gone all week, yay me, but I'm just really craving a vanilla latte. I can't make an iced vanilla latte at home because we don't have ice and then at school the ice machine is broke. So I do have caramel macchiato Starbucks mix there. But then again, the ice machine at school is broke, so I can't just drink caramel macchiato with no ice. So I'm hopeful that I will drink the entire iced latte today on the way to school and then refill with the caramel macchiato with the remaining ice. Because in theory, there should be still a lot of ice left if I hurry up and drink it. So yeah, let's go to McDonald's. Oh, look at that sunrise. It's beautiful. Three o'clock, I'm not leaving school. Don't worry about that. Just going to the gas station really quick to get some root beer, because we're gonna do root beer floats with some leftover ice cream, because we need the ice cream containers for penny bars, and I'll tell you guys about that later. Cheesy breadsticks, and Coke, and some root beer, we're ready. Okay, so here's what I was talking about with the penny bars. So basically we're trying to raise money for a new playground. Our playground equipment is so outdated. We are just very in need of some new equipment for the students. We have several slides and a lot of swings, but we really don't have much for jungle gyms. The jungle gym that we do have currently looks a lot like the one that I had when I was in elementary school at a different school in this district. The playground itself is wood chips and other schools in our district are going towards a more inclusive look on playgrounds. So it's more of like a rubber mat material so that wheelchairs can roll on it and such so we are really trying to move forward with the times and get a playground like that and uh, for fundraising for it so our students will be having a penny war so basically they're bringing pennies into the gym every morning when they have their breakfast and the pennies are worth one point each and then other students can also bring in silver coins to put into another classroom's bucket which will cancel out penny points from other classrooms so basically there's 35th graders so i imagine that they will be easily able to win compared to the two kindergarten classes which are 14 each but if those kindergartners pester their parents enough and get enough silver coins they could beat the fifth graders if they all ganged up on them basically our goal from this fundraiser is 500 dollars. and if we as a school get to that goal we're gonna have an all school wide extra recess outside with hot chocolate just a cute little party and then also the classroom that has the most points total will celebrate with a beach themed party in their classroom including tropical foods so while i don't have to worry about any of that and i'm not a part of any of this i was trying to do my part today by going to the gas station next door and grabbing a thing root beer to help us eat the ice cream in the freezer because we have two buckets that are in there that are both about halfway uh finished from uh, one was from a student's birthday that they just didn't want to take home because it would melt in the bus and then the other is from a staff party we had so we're just eating root beer floats until we finish that up and we need a lot of buckets it is that time of the night it is six o'clock i've got my trusty iep slash woodcock johnson folder ready to rock and roll taking it home looking through some stuff checking out my paperwork, making sure all the service times and stuff that I've assigned for this student next year works. Uh, basically, we gave this student the GORT, gray oral reading test, something like that. And it basically just confirmed what I had thought that she should have qualified using the Woodcock Johnson, but she just must have been having a fantastic day or was a really good guesser or something. But yeah, basically the student I was worried about not qualifying, we gave them the GORT test which gave us the confirmation and the scores needed to stay in special ed, which I'm sure her mom will appreciate and I'm sure her teachers will also appreciate. Um, let me show you something. Like obviously this is student work, so I'm not gonna 
pulled it up really far. But yes, all of this, there's not a single period in there. It's a, a wonderful story, but when it comes to punctuation and capital letters, she just needs so much help, so many reminders, and the Woodcock Johnson doesn't grade on how you use punctuation or how you use capitalization. So she got a score that was above average in writing when, yes, she can write things down, but using any sort of mechanics that have been taught to her is just like in one year, out the other, and she's not actually using anything we've taught her unless we're like nagging on her constantly. So... I'm happy that when she goes to middle school, there'll be somebody else like me to nag on her because that's exactly what she needs. Her initial qualification isn't in writing anyway, so it's not like writing is something that could be re-qualified based off of because her qualifying scores when we did her initial evaluation was not writing. We got what we need from the Gort and I will be happy and her parents will be happy and that is all that matters. So I am going to pack up all my stuff. Um, the desk is disaster land but that's slightly usual for me now uh, i gave out my very first punch card to a student that was coming to visit me a lot telling me that he'd done a good job and how other students of mine are earning money and he wanted to earn money so i gave him a punch card and um when he has 10 punches then he can have a gum sucker so i'm assuming if he's getting 10 good days like on their clip chart on like good day great day or i think the top one is extraordinary day then he'd get a punch from his classroom teacher and then when he has 10 punches he would bring that to me and then I would give him a sucker which I thought was a pretty good deal also tomorrow this IEP meeting is after school obviously so I don't have tutoring so I quick made a prodigy test for my students there's three of us that teach tutoring and two of us are going to this IEP meeting and I didn't want to just leave all the children <laughs> with this one teacher so she's gonna take turns pulling them back to do some reading with her and the rest of them are gonna be working on a prodigy test um if they were all in fifth grade, I would have just left independent work for them to complete. But the third graders and the second graders, they can't really do independent work that much without a lot of support. Today was a wonderful day. I'm going to take myself home. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. But The Bachelor is also on tonight. So that is the real reason why I need to go home right now. Always crying. Always crying. Me in my natural habitat. Cheetos and a cat sweater. Tomorrow we're doing buffalo check plaid day. The school nurse and the secretary just bought buffalo check boots and I didn't even know that was a thing. But yeah, so we're having buffalo check plaid today. So tomorrow we're wearing all buffalo check plaid and I thought I didn't own any honestly and I just looked in my closet because I'm at my parents because it's Wednesday and I do have something here and I don't even think I had anything. Week is almost over. I found my buffalo plaid. I'm ready to rock our little mini theme day with just the teachers. I've got my Harry Potter cup full of my own coffee that I made. It is a miracle. And then I also have another cup with ice in it, just ice for my iced coffee because I'm all about the caffeine. And yeah, ice machine is broke at school. One day we will get that fixed. I'm ready to go to school. It's three degrees. It's kind of chilly, but as long as it's not negative six, because negative six with wind chill means kids are inside for recess, but three degrees, that's perfect. Get outside.
so it is almost five. I can be done. I need some sandwich bags and we keep them in the gym. We also picked our person for our Valentine, so when I get back to her, I want to talk to you about that too. So basically, the person I have really likes blue Reese's peanut butter cups, flare pens, Target. We have a lot in common, so what we're going to do is we hand out small gifts throughout the week and then at the end they try to guess who we are on Friday, aka okay, Valentine's Day. What's nice is Monday is President's Day after Valentine's Day. So basically teachers have to be here, but students do not. Um, we're doing like building level things in the morning and then in the afternoon, everyone's going to like social studies meetings, but I don't have to go to that. We're supposed to do building related collaboration within our SPED team, AKA me. I got some packages today. Yeah, um, well, what was weird is they came to the board office. What? They sent it to the board office. So whoever at the post office is confused. So it's just a little gray sweater, but there's little hearts on this oh little elbows. Oh my gosh. Ooh, it stretches. Oh my goodness, <laughs> so And then this is the tank top, oh, I think, if I remember right. I don't even know what I was doing on Walmart that I ended up buying clothing. Well, I don't, yeah. You order? Why do you don't get everything? Well, it's, it's like on, kind of like Amazon has like their online marketplace kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So it was from some like Chinese brand that we definitely don't carry in the store. Okay. I just love that oh, little that's pattern. Very cute. Little great cardigan, a yep. little what? Sure. Yeah, like a long it is too. Cute. There's like two other things that are coming too. Um, the Facebook advertisements got me. I saw one and then I just kind of got led to another sweater. And then those two, I just kind of saw them too and didn't need them, but they're cute. So Scholastic is having a book sale right now and it feels like it's been an age and a half since I ordered books from Scholastic because I just haven't had the time. It's, I really didn't have any books that I really needed that I couldn't also get on Amazon for a similar price, but now they're having a dollar sale on a bunch of books that I don't have. Now they have a bunch of books that would be a good contribution to my library. So this is what I'm getting. So my kids love dinosaurs. I'm looking for more Berenstein Bears. I have a lot of the how-to books and I love mermaids. I'm getting more guided reading. The lights literally just shut off. Life is grand. More guided reading books. Oh, lights on. Bernstein Bears, Bernstein Bears, Peppa. Star Wars, Bernstein Bears, Bernstein Bears, Legos. I want more Eric Carl books. And then the lovely Pete the Cat. So 21 books for $21 is a pretty good deal. It's uh, 5.30 now. I've kind of wasted a lot of time doing absolutely nothing. But then I'm going to leave eventually and then probably get McDonald's for dinner because I really want a cheeseburger for some reason. So I got my books ordered, but I really wasn't paying attention to my main like Scholastic book account. So like if a parent or my mom wants to buy books for my cousin or somebody, they use my teacher account through that and like use my class code. So I didn't use that because nobody but me was buying books. But I just like I've been getting emails from them like probably once a week saying I've had account activity or something and I've just finally you know went and looked at it and it was because I owed six cents but I always pay with credit cards so I have no idea where this six cents came from but I called the lady and it's um 609 at night I should go home but here I am still what a surprise but I called and the lady answered I couldn't believe it there was someone there this late at night and she's like oh it's such a small amount we'll just take care of it I can't believe it <laughs> they didn't make me use my credit card to pay off six cents wow my kids are so enjoying this. I really wish there was more out there for viruses and parasites in general. I looked on TPT just to see if there's any other sort of project or nonfiction text that could go along with our System 44 book, but it's a lot of like high school related content where they're teaching that kind of stuff and like biology and microbiology and all that kind of stuff. But I'm gonna keep looking and maybe I'll find something. I enjoy Thursday nights because usually the third grade team stays late and does like the next week's planning so that I'm not the only one. One of them went home already, but the other is still here, which means I'm not responsible for shutting the light off in the hallway because the last person here has to shut the light off. And I'm horrible at doing that. <laughs> okay. We're gonna go home, but first we're gonna go to McDonald's because I'm an absolute addict, but I love McDonald's. There she is. Hello, beautiful. Welcome to McDonald's. How may I help you today? Hi, can I get the number nine meal size large with a Coke and then a Big Mac? Anything else? Nope, that's it. Cheeseburgers for me, Big Mac for the boy. 
If you don't have the McDonald's app, you should get it because I get free fries, free drinks, and today I got $2 off my meal, so my meal was $8. So I mean, that's great, instead of $10. I use it pretty much all the time when I come, which is often, as you know. Okay, we got the goods. We're ready to go to school. The flavor is chocolate covered strawberry, but I also put vanilla in. So it could be really good or it could be real bad. <laughs> I'll let you know how it is. I'm gonna go to school. It's Friday. It's supposed to snow like eight inches on Sunday, but it's supposed to end at like 10 o'clock, which means it'll probably be too late and they'll have it all cleaned up in time for school on Monday, which is such a bummer because Mondays are the perfect day for a snow day. So it tastes fine. But look at the bottom. All the strawberry is stuck there and it won't move. Gross. Look how cute it's been! So today was just a wonderful Friday. I had a really good time with my students and we made a lot of cool crafts. I had a student that was working on some internet safety because the two others that are normally with him were both gone. Um, it's a pretty cool website. I'll try to link it down below if I remember to. I'm really bad at linking things down below, but I'm at a dork right now with the lovely Walmart. I know I don't eat a lot of fruits, but I'm pretty sure grapes aren't supposed to be that long and skinny. Hello again, wonderful humans. I am done with my shift at Walmart. It's now 10.30. I'm ready to go home and edit this vlog. I've decided since I'm going shopping tomorrow for my secret Valentine and just some like baby registry kind of things for my friend for her party next week, that I would just make it a separate video so then if you're not the kind of person that enjoys watching other people shop, then you don't have to watch that and it'll just be totally separate. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like this video. If you like the content, subscribe to my channel and put on your notifications so you don't miss any of the awesomeness. It was a fantastic week this week. There was like zero behaviors and if we can keep this up till spring break at least, I can survive. The end of the year is coming quick. I mean, honestly, there's probably like 80 days left or something which maybe for a lot of people seems like a lot but for me once you hit like 50 it's like boom 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 and then it's done now if we got a couple snow days in there i would be a happy camper but some of us are just not that lucky the snow days are just not shining down on us this year me, me.